Hello everybody, Static on High here, and we are playing The Adventures of Nick and Willikins. Now, this was just a random little game I found on Steam, like always. Oh, okay. I honestly don't know what it's about. I put this in my folder a long time ago of games to play. So, I don't even really remember what it's about. We'll see how it goes. Just figure it out from there. Ooh, interesting. Sarcastic Voyage. Alright. And now the adventures of Nick and Willikin. Oh dear god, this voice. This is England. Okay. Actually, that's a lie. Oh. We're really getting off on the wrong foot here. I don't want you thinking that I'm one of those unreliable narrators. No, this is not England at all. This is, in fact, a barely coherent caricature of England, perpetrated by two men who have never even left North America. Consequently, the game you're about to play will almost certainly be riddled with inaccuracies, anachronisms, and bad accents. Like, oh, truly please. terrible accents. You people don't even want to know. Anyway, they dragged me out of retirement to tell this story, and I'm not about to waste my extremely valuable time defending the ill-conceived choices of its writers. So, moving on. <laughs> <clears throat> this is England. And this is the ancestral home of the wealthy and powerful Nick family, currently presided over by its last surviving male heir, young Nick oh, of Jesus. Nick Hall. Assisting Nick in the extremely complicated business of washing and dressing himself, along with the general maintenance of Nick Hall itself, we have this man. He answers to the name Willikins, but his young master has called him so many other things. Willikins is also one of the last of a dying breed. A breed of dedicated manservants tirelessly devoted to the well-being of their assigned charges, no matter the circumstances. Oh, this is so cringy looking. I cannot overstress the importance of following the instructions of one's master. No matter how seemingly misguided, unethical, or even mortally dangerous they might be, ours is to serve not to question. All of this being said, one does have some latitude when it comes to addressing one's betters. Traditionally, it is acceptable to adopt one of the three basic attitudes, as observed and practiced okay, okay. by the great western powers of servitude. The first, and one to which I must admit a bit of bias, is the British method, which stresses oh. politeness and civility. This method is kind without being overly familiar. Good enough to sustain an empire of nearly a thousand years, so certainly good enough for the likes of you. Ooh, Second is the one preferred by our American brethren, the friendly approach. Presenting the illusion of being the master's equal, despite the fact that you both clearly know which of you is the lord and which is the lord. Finally, there's okay, the aggressive okay. I can get with that one. typically employed by our old friends, the Germans. Oh, the Germans. No great surprise there. While obviously not advocating outright hostility towards the master, it does emphasize the notion that even the most noble among us may, on occasion, require a bit of helpful product. <laughs> so basically right. just make so fun of them. Okay, okay, I can see it. Kindly choose one of these methods and demonstrate oh, shoot. to me and the rest of the class. I actually get to choose? Oh. Oh, should I? Okay. Okay, that one looks like he's like either constipated or something or he just has no idea what he's doing. This one looks like he's trying to hold in like I don't know. It's like that cheesy moment where you're, like, saying a joke and nobody laughs at it. That's what this looks like. That's your face after that. You're just like, ha, ha, yeah, funny. Then this one's just, he's just mad. He's just straight up mad. He's like, really? Really, you gotta be this way? I think... You know what? I'm gonna choose constipated. As you wish, sir. Ah, the classic polite British man. Trying to get on my good side then, eh, boy? Yeah, you Mr. know it. Mr. Willikins, you'll make a fine manservant someday. Where is the other class members? Am I the only one? I think I'm the only one. Willikins, you're the worst manservant whatever lived. Excuse you! 
Now stop daydreaming about your boring past and tend to my needs. What the? <sighs> so begins another exhausting day for me here at Nick Hall. Too right, Willikins. As per our usual routine, I have prepared an itinerary area, 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 area of daily activities for you. Oh, good. Item one. Does it keep me away from you? Much like the princess in that story about the wee stained mattress. I have detected something amiss with my bed. Have a look under there, won't you? Uh, Very good, sir. Did... Did he... Did he actually... Pee his bed? Guess I gotta look. Ah, so there is something under here. Oh, Charge dear God. A mobile phone. <laughs> That's what we call cellular phones in England. Yes, yes, I know. Rather. Look at this. This is disgusting. How? Okay. That's nasty. I don't want to touch that, but I'm probably going to have to. He's got freaking pornos. Like... I'd be concerned about these if I thought Master Nick had even the remotest concept of what any of it actually meant. Oh, so he doesn't even know what this is. He just has them. And look at all this old gum. The That's disgusting. The bedpost is the more traditional location for one's gum, but Master Nick has always been one to spit his gum in the face of convention. Also, occasionally in my face. This guy is a jerk. Like, the more the more they say, the more I don't like him. I will I'll take that charge. tidy this up, then. Adequate job, I mean? Willikins. Five out of ten. Honestly, you must try harder. Excuse you. Must I? Now then, item the second. I'm hungry. You're hungry, sir? Hungry, with an H. Now, I know you have some food squirreled away on your person, and I demand that you feed it to me forthwith and hence. Here too. And such. Are you... Hmm. What do I got? Oh my god, that is beautiful. A pizza hamburger? Like, look at this. It's even got the bit sticking out so you can, like, have that first bite of just pizza and just... You get the taste for it and then you just take a giant bite out of the actual sandwich. Mmm. What does he I say I have about endeavored it? to anticipate Master Nick's needs by preparing this. One of his favorite dishes. He won't want it, of course. But one must go through the motions, mustn't one? He doesn't even want it! I'm not sure why I bother. He'll inevitably reject this and any subsequent offerings, no matter what they are. Sums up my existence rather neatly, I suppose. I feel bad Pizza, for Willikins. Pizza, hamburger, sir. Core, that old thing you made me that yesterday! It's rubbish. Bung it down a loo. Of course, sir. Just That'd eat it be yourself. The first of, no doubt, many then. Okay, can't, can't, can we leave? Hold on, I want to look under the bed again. I only just cleaned. Okay, under fine, there. fine. You don't have to then. Don't under be salty where? towards me. Under the. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Willikins, that... did you hear me? I said underwear. I'm such a delightful scamp. I wish you could see my face. It would show the, the pure disappointment in his jokes. <laughs> Go to the dressing room. Maybe we'll find him some clean clothes. Out? What do you mean, out of order? Hey, his mobile phone. Not have a charger, I'm assuming. In theory, this mobile phone is a vast improvement over the old landlines. But this model won't stay charged for more than 15 seconds, so it might as well be a bloody landline. Uh... Well... Come on. Let's charge it then. Take In theory, this mobile oh, okay, phone okay. is a vast improvement over the old landlines. <sighs> but this model won't that. stay charged for more than different. 15 seconds, so it might as well be a bloody landline. Okay. It's Pick still it bloody charging, because of course it is. So I'll just leave it here and use the speaker function. Who? Styles emergency services. Okay. So, I don't need that yet. <laughs> oh! These hats are amazing. Master Nick made one of the guards at Buckingham Palace laugh, and so... 
In keeping with ancient tradition, he was allowed to keep the hat. That's a, is that a is that a real thing? Is that a real thing? Please tell me if that's a real thing later on, because I want to know. Patriotism in its purest form, a necktie. Ah, okay. I feel like none of this is useful right now. It's in the wardrobe. No sign of Narnia or any other hidden yes! kingdom, I'm afraid. Or is there? I'm so glad he made a reference to Narnia. If any of you have seen Narnia, just mm, this seems that impractical. movie, the whole string of movies, even, is just my favorite overall. Uh, okay. What else do you need? Let's continue. Aggressive. Discarding this uneaten pizza hamburger would be wrong, sir. It's a sin to waste food. It's also a sin to defy your living god, whom, for all intents and purposes, is me, Nick. I believe I missed that lesson at church, sir. Well, if you don't jump to it and do what I said, I should deliver an extremely painful and demeaning reminder. Oh, well, that sounds an awful lot like work. I'll probably just make you flog yourself. Uh, I stand corrected, sir. That's an extremely godlike thing to say. Wow. Okay, this guy's more of a dick than I thought. Wait. Hold up. I'm Willikins, and you named your dog Willikins? Absolutely not. I don't know where this mangy thing has been. Or, more precisely, I know exactly where it's been. Oh. Yeah, it's always worse knowing where things are, and where they have been, compared to if you don't know, because when you don't know, you at least aren't afraid. There appears to be some writing on that bottle, but I can't read it from here. Cool, okay. Willikins! Am I owed a tax incentive for employing an illiterate? You've never paid a tax in your life, sir. In fact, I'm rather concerned Nobody that... cares what you think, Willikins. You can't even read. <sighs> These were prescribed by Master Nick's personal psychiatrist, Dr. Gessand. Oh. The label details the type of medication, recommended dosage, and a contact number for the good doctor. Yeah, what happens if he hasn't been taking any of them? Does that mean he's gonna be like a complete dick for the rest of his life? Willikins? <sighs> Are you flushed that stale munch? Not yet, sir. I'll see to it, post haste. Oh, he actually wants me to flush it? I thought he meant, like, just throw it out. Okay, I guess I actually have to flush it. I forgot, I have to grab it. Uh, what a waste. Okay. Oof. That does not sound good. The loo. The bidet. Is that how you say it? Bidet? I don't know. Duck. I can pronounce that one. I can pronounce duck. Okay. Well, there. I flushed it. What else do you also want? Now that that important business is settled, I want you to go downstairs and prepare me some proper brekkie. You know what I like. I want you to take at least two seemingly incompatible food items and combine them in a new and interesting way. Old and old and boring way, what I've forgotten about. Go on, off you go. <sighs> Can Very I, like, good, force feed him? Oh, and Willikins. Oh. Sir? Remember, it's Thursday, which means you may only prepare the items on my revised menu of foods what I will only eat on Thursdays. You will know these foods when you see them. Right, that thing. Very, as I said once already, good, sir. Yeah, no, this guy, I'm just... I'm not... Oh, my God. Oh. Painful. That's the drawing room. Whoa! Wrong button. I didn't realize I could go to split screen without leaving this tab. Portrait of someone. Portrait of Lady Beatrice. Okay, well. Um. Not really sure. Entrance hall. Uh, gallery. 
Okay, okay. Oh! Took for a unicorn. Front garden. No, 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 that's not where I want to be. Um... Try the gallery? Oh, Jesus. One, you dick. Tigers are majestic creatures. Two, what? Okay, that picture with his dog is halfway decent. Uh, there's me. That's that's how I feel, just why? Why? All these pictures, they're so awful. Oh! Good to know. I don't really care about his sculptures, I just want to find the... Uh, the uh, dining room, or not dining room, the uh, kitchen. No idea how to get there. What? Okay. That's slightly annoying. Catalabra. Lars Tapestry Swords. I could just get a sword for him. You know, he'd probably like that just as much. Because there is. No. Oh. Aha. A knife. Perfect for raw chicken, raw pork, and any other disease carrying slabs of unprepared animal flesh. Okay, you could put it that way, yes. It sucks that it's chained to the wall, though. Is that why he's. What? Toast. For reasons that are best understood by his lordship, there's a completely intact and disturbingly warm piece of toast jammed in the drain. <sighs> Master Nick's Thursday menu does indeed allow for this particular ingredient. Oh, good. These were not here an hour ago, and I know for a fact that Master Nick has not left his bedroom since then. He must have some sort of hidden dumb waiter or something. What the heck? Ah, the bountiful wonders of modern life. Yeah, fridge. Actually, what's under the curtain? That did not sound... Okay, I'll just take that rat poison. Because, you know, I really don't like him. Can't use that. Open this one. Clean dishes. I'm not actually allowed to serve anything from these. What? Master Nick says they're the good plates. And he's saving them for a less rubbish person to put food on them for me. Oh, what a dick. This contains file cards with some of the most sumptuous dishes ever concocted. I've never once opened this box in all the years I've worked here. See, now that just sucks. Okay, obviously he's all not going to drink that tea. tea. Eat tea, I'd commit yes. ritual suicide if we didn't. So oh. naturally, Master Nick regularly tries to surreptitiously dispose of this tea to make me do that. Hilarious. <laughs> I love how he just got really loud for a second. Just hilarious. Feel the pain in his voice. This is... This... Oh, digestives. These are just biscuits. They've nothing to do with digestion. Oh. Oh. If I had a pound for every time I've had to explain what Jaffa cakes are to non-British people, I'd be dead. Crap, I was just hoping they would explain what that is. <laughs> Open the fridge. Oh. <laughs> okay. First off. What? Spotted dick. Keep your filthy jokes to yourself, please. <laughs> he knew! We'll try our best, despite appearances to the contrary, to maintain an air of dignity. Uh, <laughs> How did he know? <laughs> Toad's old egg ale. Could be worse. Could be chocolate smoothie. Ugh. Okay. Oh, Marmite! Oh, no. No, I ain't touching the Marmite. Sweet. Oh no, I can take... No, 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 not... Okay. 
Haggis. Not even the 16th most disgusting food item in this house. What? What is haggis? Fresh from the, as it were, teat. I feel like you really didn't have to say that, but you did anyways. S steak and kidney pudding. Ugh. Why? Why, though? Be... Beans? No. I feel like none of these. Let's just close the fridge. I don't feel like he wants any of that. It's too obvious. Um. Anything? There will be plenty of time for that later. Okay, okay. And later still. And pretty much on into infinity. I'm sorry. You're witnessing a rare moment in which I have something other than pointless mopping up to do. <laughs> I feel really bad for him. Actually, check that. I have a feeling there'll be something in there. It would appear that a brand new pair of rubber gloves, or hand wellies as Master Nick calls them, has what? fallen into the bin. I mean, I got... Oh, look at that toast! Ugh. I saw something. It appears to be something hidden just beneath this top layer of potatoes. The Master Nick has rather <laughs> cleverly hidden his cold, soggy chips under these raw potatoes. You know... Well, we can't deny there's a certain logic to that. There is, but... Who leaves french fries? Master Nick's Thursday menu does indeed allow for this particular ingredient. Is it all just bread products? Does this... A fine, upstanding British fish if I ever saw one. Well, technically these aren't so much upstanding as they are down-hanging, but the point remains. You don't... okay. This now count... I've got a haddock. <gasps> I get to cut it up. Okay. So... no, no, no. Stand over there. Give me that. No, thank you. You're not... You're not going to cut it up. It's a fish. It has all the properties one has come to expect from a fish. Okay, fine. You know what? No, no, no. I want it. Quite possibly the most essential tool in my duties at Nick Hall. Bit of a reach, don't you think? We need a bit of... <sighs> okay, first... I don't feel that this is a good use of my rather limited available time. Fine, just hold on to a fish then. <laughs> what is this? This magnet lists the telephone number for emergency services, which, here in England, is 999. That'd be confusing to so many American people sitting there. What? Okay. Oh, wait, there's a wine cellar. Let's go down there. Boxing gloves. Sticky note. Why does it say no? Not only will Master Nick not tell me what's in this bottle, he refuses to allow anyone to touch it, which is what this note is about. So I just can't touch it. Oh, rope. That's always useful. Um, okay, let's go to the basement. Oh. Hello, rat. Ironically, that rodent is the cleanest thing in this room. That's disappointing. Keep calm and stiff upper lip. If my upper lip were any stiffer, my face wouldn't work. <laughs> I got 20% off this mattress using a code I heard on a podcast. See, but... Mm. It's actually much itchier and pointier than it looks. And it already looks quite itchy and pointy. You're not wrong there. Oh, look at this. I have some rat poison. No. What? What do you mean, no? <laughs> I'm... Uh, okay, fine. 
It's giving you an easy exit for those rats, but whatever. Do I actually have to make this into something? Most everything I know how to prepare involves the use of a knife. And since our only working knife is in the kitchen, I must logically go there to perform this task. Ipso facto. Okay. Be that way. Fine, look. Knife right here. No. This and this. What? He's using a drill? Or is that a blender? Master Nick once ate a dozen of these concoctions in a single day while he was on what he referred to as the Reverse Atkins Diet. I don't even know what the Atkins... Okay, you used a blender for literally just putting some fries on toast? Could I... Put... Yes, of course, that's brilliant! That will solve all my current problems. Yeah. Wait. No, sorry. It won't work at all. I don't know why I said that. You don't gotta be a dick. Yes, of course. That's brilliant. That will solve all my current problems. Wait. I feel no, like he's needlessly sorry. cruel. It won't work at all. I don't know why I said that. You're a dick. You know, I understand you're mad at him, but you don't gotta put that out on me. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm trying to help you. No, don't, don't, no, I don't want to look at the window. What? I actually don't know which way to bedroom. There we go. Okay. Okay, you ungrateful little shit. Positively revolting. Yes. Honestly, Willikins, I don't know what you think you're bloody doing in that kitchen. But I've half a mind to just say sod it and prepare my own brekkie. Indeed, sir. Now, now bung this down a loo and make me something else. <sighs> Little piece of crap. What is that dog doing? The fact that he actually wants me to throw this down the toilet. I'm just going to end up coming back up here and it's going to be flooded. Now get your bum and the rest of you down to the kitchen and make me a proper meal. You know what they say, Willikins. Third time's probably going to be rubbish as well because everything you do is rubbish. Is that what they say, sir? Well, that's what I say. This kid, I swear to God, can I just strangle him? I would love to strangle him. I guess I'm going all the way back. I love that that's the thing. I was just testing that just now. Just like, hey. What? 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 Well, I can't be sure, but I expect this does not bode well. What? What? Has Nick done something untoward? Is it even possible to do something toward? And if he has, will Willikins remain loyal per the rigidly binding ancient codes of English know. servitude? Find out well, now. Seriously, you didn't think you'd just stop <laughs> here, Who would give you just part of a game? That's just cruel. Agreed. That came from the entrance hall. Much as I am loath to do so, I suppose it's my duty to investigate. And we will do that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I really like this game. Ooh, why am I talking like that? Um, I think that little boy is a dick. Uh, he does not deserve Willikins. Willikins seems to be a very nice guy underneath all of that angry bundle of suit and tie. Ugh. But anyways... Thank you guys for watching. Like video if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh,